one we're going to be talking doing a debrief on a two-way that me and Scotty did a while ago. For these jumps, I'm trying to really uh, transition the tunnel stuff we've been doing into the sky, but using the sky to its full potential. So not just doing layouts, but also being able to hold from a layout into an angle, maybe going to a belly carve, um, all sorts of things. So yeah, have a watch and um, see how it goes. So for these jumps, I'm leading them and Scotty's following. And at the moment we're exiting in uh, a belly head up position and tracking a long heading of the plane and then thinking and imagining we're at the top of a tunnel and we're essentially doing out face carve and then stalling back, thinking about feeling the vertical drop and letting the speed carry up and then driving across the tunnel, dropping the legs, so allowing us to break at the hips and then going across and feeling like we're going up, like we're doing a back layout and then diving into a uh, head down angle. So you can see here, going boom, now we're going vertical, thinking about, really thinking about the head back. Okay, head back behind the arms is key. If you have the head in front of your arms, like this, you get chicken neck, it's just gonna strain. So the more aerodynamic can you can be, letting your arms go and not really trying to put any pressure on them at all. Okay, so we can see here now we're driving forwards across the tunnel. Now the next thing I'm thinking here is lifting the legs up, the shins. Okay, I'm not trying to keep the shins down and keep those hips forward. I'm breaking at the hips and allowing myself to have that feeling of going up. And you're seeing this footage here, that's exactly uh, kind of what it looks like. So it's like we're going up in the tunnel, down across, down layout again on the belly. Now maintaining this. So it's just essentially just stopped in that dive. Okay, so now we're on an angle. And start flattening out, releasing the arms, not having too much pressure on the arms to allow us to go flatter. Starting to push the hips forward. I'm telling Scotty to push his arms down there so he can catch up. That's why he started going behind. Boom, into a belly carve. Just checking the rises. It's typical when you start doing breakers and stuff like this, the, the rises do pop open. That's on all rigs. Not all rigs, some. So boom, into a layout again from a back layout, into a track. Bit of a flutter track, and then tracking off. So you could see very a lot of similarities there to the tunnel um, that we're transitioning into the sky now. So we'll watch it on full speed again. So down, vertical, head back, feeling at the forward speed, that, that vertical speed, and feeling it slow down and diving. So you really get that sensation of of um, the dives from doing these kind of jumps. The speed's picking up, so before you start coming out to go flatter, I find you definitely have to wash the speed off um, to stop yourself from flicking and bottoming out. So by bringing the arms out wide, that helps with this a lot as well. Back layout, really think about stalling like you would in the tunnel, catching on the belly. The trick is to think about going forwards, so not just coming here and stalling, but actually a smooth transition feeling where that wind transitions on the top, and allowing yourself to dive into it and generating that speed out, I'm not trying to wash it off. Sweet. So let's just check the next one again. So same thing. Uh, I mean, Scotty doing a two-way again. All the exits were very similar. Cool, not trying to push those hips forward, just keeping them broken at the hips, going onto the back, really think about going up into a layout. So you can see here, um, everything from the head all the way down to the legs, the feet is in line. Thinking about streamline. Okay, hands, legs, nothing sticking out. Then I'm head up, top, chin in, just head neutral. Think about relaxing everything and slowly peeling out. So not going like this, but trying to maintain that slow peel out. So everything flows straight through here. Coming up, arching into it, keeping the arms out. And we're going to a front layout here. So this is the same thing with the front layouts. Trying to imagine that same feeling what you would in the tunnel when you pop over for a front layout and then come down. Okay, you're not trying to fight it, going with it. Feeling like you don't do a back out, but these back outs are going to be a lot wider, a lot larger because we don't have the restriction of the walls. 
feeling and being disciplined and letting that flow take you up, not trying to rush it. And then we can go straight for a switch, trying to get those level changes just like we do in the tunnel. Boom, back on the belly. I think that was it for this one. Of course, a lot of this just comes from visualizing what is actually happening to your body and to the wind aerodynamic wise when you're doing these jumps. Not trying to force it, not trying to hold tension, but just feeling the wind. Really breaking these hips is key for this. Letting yourself go up. I just don't want to be bombing to the top of the tunnel. Sick. So, yeah, I guess just take note of all those trajectories and trying to not push too much on the wind or anything. Just letting it flow, just changing the pitch of your body to allow slower and faster fall rates. And really just trying to visualize that same feeling as what it would in the tunnel. Cool. Hope you enjoyed that one. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box. Subscribe if you like it. Good evening.